Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today we're looking at Battlefield 1's newest medic rifle, which has dropped with the Apocalypse DLC. That medic rifle is the Howl Automatic, which has two variants, the Factory and the Sniper. I'll be giving you a basic rundown of the stats, my personal experiences with the weapon, an overall review, and rounding out by answering, is it good? I'll be doing the same for the other weapons from the Apocalypse DLC, so if you're new around here, it will be great if you consider subscribing to see those if you enjoy this video, and don't forget to on notifications to get around the currently broken subscription boxes that YouTube just don't seem to want to fix. And let's begin with the title of this video, Slay with Style, because I think the Howl Automatic looks awesome. It's just got a really unique aesthetic to it. It's like if World War 1 had vampires, they'd probably use this thing. I can't wait to also get a sweet skin for it, but let's get to matters of greater importance. I usually flesh out my statements in these reviews with the specific numbers that Simthic.com provides, but they don't appear to have added the new weapons at the time of making this video. So I'll be using the basic stats that we find in Battlefield 1 itself. If they're wrong, then you can shout at dice rather than me. So if these numbers are to be believed, the Howl has a rate of fire of 257 rounds per minute, which is the same as the Farquhar Hill and the Mondragon. I personally think this rate of fire provides that jack of all trades feel of not being too spammy, but also not punishing missed shots too heavily. Combine this with a very healthy 21 rounds per reload and the Howl begins to scream versatility. According to BF1, one, the Howl also shares the same damage drop-off figures as the Farquhar, retaining its max damage out to about 46 meters before seeing it steadily drop off and hitting its minimum damage at around 59 meters out. So it's nothing too special in the range department where damage is concerned, but this is heavily mitigated by the fact that the Howl has a bipod, which is a rarity for medic rifles. While bipodded, its shots look something like this that you're seeing now, so it's pretty lethally accurate, meaning you can get up close and personal with this thing, plus effectively counter snipe or have a bipod off with a support enemy. This versatility again brings us to a comparison with the Farquhar Hill, specifically the Storm variant this time, as the basic in-game stat bars of the Farquhar Storm and the Howl Factory are the same. Aside from the Farquhar has slightly greater control, while the Mondragon Storm has a little higher damage and control. Then we come to the Howl Sniper, where the stat bars for accuracy and control absolutely fly up to pretty much the same points of the Mondragon Sniper. And at this point you're probably getting the gist of where I'm going with this. The Howl Automatic fits into that versatile middle of the road archetype with the Farquhar and the Mondragon and it's going to come down to personal preference as to which one you'd prefer. The Mondragon has higher damage and a bipod in the sniper variant but lesser ammo capacity and reload stats. The Howl has slightly lower control but features a bipod on both variants and a large ammo capacity and the Farquhar kind of sits between them for basic stats and lacks the bipod at all. I personally really enjoy the Howl and prefer it over the Mondragon for its extended ability to contest gunfights plus it's got a bipod on both variants. It's then a very close call for me between it and the Farquhar and I find myself very comfortable with both of them. I will say that I heavily recommend using the AA sights on the factory version of the Howl and I also lower the magnification on the sniper variant in order to make close quarters fights that bit easier to contest. An extra little point has to be made though about ghost bullets. I'm not sure if it's lag or the weapon itself but a few times I seem to be unable to make contact with the target using the Howl factory. I have an example for you on screen here. You might say I was spamming a bit but it happened a fair few times when I was playing and I feel like I should be able to pull the trigger again if the sights have reset, especially at close range. So that can be a little frustrating. I didn't notice anything like it on the sniper variant though and you can let me know in the comment section if you've had anything similar. All in all, is the Howl Automatic good? Yes. I really like it and it will fit right into a lot of players playstyle in my opinion. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, are you looking forward to using the Howl and if you already have it, are you enjoying it? Now we need to quickly shoot over to the Board of Awesome show our respect to the fantastic people who choose to support the channel on Patreon, purely because they want to help to keep the channel going. Big thanks to a new name on there, Dimitrius Berenowski, I hope that's right. Uh, <laughs> I really appreciate it dude. If you want to join these guys on the Board of Awesome then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below plus in my pinned comment where you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos while the subscription boxes are kind of broken and feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Latest.